financial accounting, we're talking about the statement of cash flows. And we've talked about the operating section and the cash that comes in or goes out due to daily operations. We've talked about the investing section, changes in our non-current asset accounts and how cash flows in and out due to investing activities. Now we're going to take a look at the financing activities, in particular changes in our long-term liabilities or our non-current liabilities. And here we have three different journal entries that impact our long-term liabilities. And this is from uh, problem or exercise 10, if you want to take a look at it in our text. Now the first one says that we debited cash for $36,000 and we credited notes payable $36,000. Now this is a long-term note payable. If this was a short-term note payable, this change would show up in the operating section, wouldn't it? But because this is a long-term borrowing, this change is going to show up in the financing section. Now, is this going to be a cash inflow or a cash outflow? Well, I see a debit to cash, so I think cash is coming in. And so if cash is coming in, I would show that as a source or a cash inflow in financing activities because what? I borrowed a note. The second one is a little bit different. This is the one that shows up down there in non-cash activities. And the reason it's a non-cash activity is notice I bought a patent by giving them a note. And this note is a long-term note payable. Did any cash exchange hands? None. So is this exchanging a non-current asset for a non-current liability. And that's why this change would show up down in the non-cash activity section way at the bottom of the statement of cash flows because no cash exchange, but notice that I was dealing with an investing type asset and a financing type asset and just exchanging it. So down at the very bottom, we would show $60,000 as an exchange that didn't happen with cash. Notes payable, interest expense, and cash. What happened here? It looks like I paid back a note payable. Now again, this is a long-term note payable that I am paying. Now, let me think about this. If I'm paying a long-term note, uh, is cash going out? Yes. Yeah. So cash is going to go down. So in the financing section, I'm going to show that I repaid the note. But here's the big question. When I repaid the note, should I show repayment of $11,000 or repayment of only the note, $10,000? And you want to show only the note payable for $10,000 because notice I said we repaid the note. I didn't say we repaid the note plus interest. I said I repaid the non-current or liability note payable. So if I repaid it, that's going to be a cash outflow down in the financing section of $10,000 to pay the note. Where does this interest expense show up? Do you remember? That's a what, deduction on the income statement, isn't it? So that's already been taken into account when I did the operating section and I showed that net income up above because that's in the net income, isn't it? So we've already taken care of that one. So to recap, when we have long-term liabilities, when long-term liabilities, the change is an increase, that means that the cash is coming in because I'm going into debt. When long-term liabilities decrease, that means that I repaid them and I, that's cash going out. So I should subtract. And those are the rules for financing activities with long-term debt.